pain. Pain is the great equalizer, the secret to life. From the time I was a boy, I learned to always inflict pain faster than my opponent, to never let pain guide my decisions, and always harness the pain for my own strength. The great quake brought misery and death to a callous number of people, but it made me a god, ruler of my domain, the greatest bounty hunter to ever live. No one, no one dares run from T.J. Swenson, except one. They call her the Lone Survivor, the savior of the refugees, but she is my greatest bounty ever. This is life on the changing earth. There you are, Mom. I've been looking for you everywhere. It's calm out here. What's going on? I'm just thinking about Daniel. He's safe, Mom. He doesn't have to be a part of this anymore. I know. There's no going back now. I know that, too. Dad and I chose to come. We have to save Greg and Penny and Harold and Betsy. Nobody told us when they shut down California. And I won't let that happen again. Come on, there's someone I want you to meet. these gigs. He'll be out all night. Careful you two don't get too crazy. We won't. This is Melvin Sanders. And you, ma'am, must be Mrs. Erica Moore. In the flesh. It's truly my honor. I am happy to extend the resources of the Texas Militia to help you on your journey south. The Texas Militia? Yes, sir. The federal forces could never take southern Texas. After all, we're Texans. We have the right to defend ourselves from all foreign and domestic threats. I bet the federal governing board doesn't share your opinion. You got that right, ma'am. They would have taken our land years ago, but that's neither here nor there. The governor of Texas would like to meet you. We're traveling as members of Sean's band. We'll be fine. Erica, we have to go. I mean, think about it. Even if Bennett didn't find us missing on the first day, when you didn't show up for a workout the next, he will have figured out we left. And he'll be coming on a boat much faster than the one we're on. We'll never make it to port in time. What about Star and Sean? There will be two missing people from their crew. Melvin brought friends to make your place. You have to go, Mom. Okay. Let's go. boats down here. I love you, Star. I love you too, Mom. Take care of Dad. We'll meet again in Dallas, okay? Bye, Superstar. Bye, Dad.
Master Sergeant Bennett, your team is assembled, sir. I'll be there in a moment. Yes, sir. You got everything you need? How could I have let this happen? We knew all along she was going to be challenging to control. The only thing you can count on is her loyalty to her family. I thought she trusted me. We should have told her. If it weren't for that idiot scientist, Brad, she never would have found out. No, Bennett. We should have told her. I knew exactly how she felt about what happened when the feds cut off California after the quake. She may not have left. At least we could have helped her get there. Now we have no idea where she is, and if the feds catch her... I'll find her first, sir. Make sure you do. Sir! Let's go, Corporal. Sir? At ease, men. This is a mission of utmost secrecy. We are tracking Vince and Erica Moore. They have fled the base despite their probationary sentence that demands they stay in this region. It's the utmost importance that we bring them back alive. Sir, how is someone on federal probation able to get out of the region? I believe they were able to get past the border patrol, posing as stagehands for their son-in-law's band. I'm going to take Smith and talk with Vince's parents. I've got to know if they took their youngest son. If they did, they'll be much easier to find. Shaver, Jensen, secure a boat for our departure at the Madison Port in Wisconsin. Sir. Dismissed. Hi, Carl. What's going on? I don't know, TJ. Henderson hasn't told me a thing. Maybe he wants me to go to Tillman's and beat that whore till she's dead for the mess she made at Erica's trial. <laughs> Maybe. He was pissed about that. I've had Erica within arm's reach twice now, and she always slips away. Don't feel bad. We haven't been able to catch her either. Yeah, but I'm the best at what I do. <laughs> Not this time. It's only a matter of time, Carl. I didn't think you were a patient man. The Supreme General will see you now. Supreme General? It's news to me. Come in, gentlemen. Have a seat. The time has come. The treacherous activities of the mercenary forces have been exposed. The board has made me the Supreme General of the New Federal Republic of America. I have been tasked with the responsibility of eradicating the traitors. Congratulations, sir. You two have been vital in my achievement of this honor. I want to thank you two for your efforts. You're welcome, sir. You're quiet, TJ. Sir, I think you should have taken control a long time ago. You're the one who put this country back together. The war has always been in your way. <laughs> we'll handle that problem in time. But we now have other matters to attend to. You know I'm at your service, sir. I'll keep you busy, TJ. But I need the commander to accomplish his mission first. What do you need me to do? General McClintock, the traitor. I want you to bring him to me. Done, sir. Go do it. I can't have word reaching him before you do. Yes, sir. TJ, your job is much more difficult. I want you to go north with my army. I told Grace and Webb I did not want Erica's trial to happen in the central region. I want him and his family. I already know the layout of this compound. That's not a problem, sir. You know what else I want. She has a tracker, correct? She does. My assistant can provide you with the code. Thank you, sir. I'm afraid the Mercs will move her out of the northern region when we reach the border. I'll send a crew for the webs and handle Erica myself. I'm also going to need you to increase the labor pool again. What are you working on, sir? Once we take the north, I want the land in Illinois. The nuclear plant exploded there. That's why I need the labor. We will start with the federal prisons and use the labor to clean up the waste. They won't last long, so I'll need you to keep supplying stock. I understand your dilemma, sir. I'll let my suppliers know the type of individual we're looking for. Very good, TJ. I knew I could count on you. Let me know as soon as you have Erica in custody. Yes, sir. Mm. 
that was fast. I don't believe I've had the pleasure of meeting you, sir. The pleasure is all yours. T.J. Swenson. We finally meet. It's incredible how the quake allowed the trash to run amok. <laughs> I'll tell your son how much you wanted to see him before your head was severed from your shoulders. What? What the hell is going on here, Commander? The Supreme General is waiting to meet with you. <laughs> he didn't even tell you, did he? You walked right in on your own accord. You bastards. You better stay the hell away from my son. Don't worry, we'll take good care of him. Fuck you, you bastard. TJ, grab him. Oof. Damn, TJ. You couldn't just let it go. Oh no. I've been waiting for far too long to receive this order. Understand this, McClintock. I'm going to your home in the north, and I'm going to rip it apart. All of them will end up in the factory if they're lucky. I hope you burn in hell. <laughs> I'll see you there. You stayed out here, sir? Vince and Erica's pods were over there on those pads. We needed guards on the premises. I joined the Mercs, so I didn't have to live on a farm. There are worse things in life. The main house is up the road. Island of the mind Between the dirt and the brush You count all you got left Sad to say, it's not much she kill for a family, kill for a home Anything to not be so long Jack, that's enough! Master Sergeant Bennett, come in would you like something to drink? No, ma'am. Thank you. Hi, Jack. Good to see you, too. Hi, Bennett. Hi, Daddy Boy. How's the schooling going? Good, but playing outside will be much funner. <laughs> it seems like you need to keep taking those English classes. I'll tell you what. What? Why don't you take a break for a minute and get some air for a while so that I can talk to your grandma? Can I, Grandma? You can go, but stay close to the house, and I'll call you back in a bit. Okay. <laughs> What's going on, Master Sergeant? I was surprised to see Daniel here. He's staying here for a couple of nights. Vince and Erica said they received authorization to go hunting for a couple of days to get some alone time. <laughs> they did, huh? They said they obtained your signature on the documentation. Where are they, Master Sergeant? That's what I'm going to find out. I wanted to know if they took Daniel. Took Daniel where? Daniel, you know better than to eavesdrop outside doors. Where are my parents, Bennett? I don't know, Danny. Your mom and dad discovered that your grandma Nancy and their friends may be in some kind of trouble. I think they went to help them. What kind of trouble? They left me behind? If they did leave Danny, they could be in big trouble. I know your mom and dad, and leaving you would not have been very easy for them to do. But taking you into all that danger would have been a stupid decision. They know you're much safer here with your grandparents. You're going to find them, aren't you? I'm going to try, Danny. Please take me with you, Bennett. I'm sorry. I, I, I can't do that, son. Yes, you can. You know I can shoot. You taught me. I promise I won't give you any trouble like my mom. I'll listen to every word you say and do exactly what you tell me. Daniel, your parents left you here because you're safe here. It was a smart move. Major Virgis will be at the base. I'll send messages home, but I can't take you, Daniel. What's going to happen to them when you catch them? I don't know. I guess it depends on how long it takes, Danny. Your parents love you, and I love you. Just please bring them home, Master Sergeant Bennett. Come here, Daniel. What danger is Las Vegas in, Master Sergeant? I'm not authorized to talk about the details right now, okay? I'll let you know as soon as I hear anything.
They left the boy. Let's head out. What was that about? That kid means a lot to me. I hate to see him with that. All I ever was your home. So where do you leave? Where do you go? Would you just stay if I came home? We could go for a drag. Figure it out. Calm your fears and drown your doubt. But I got it. Prepper Broadcasting Network is nine dynamic hosts, seven podcasts a week, live shows, chat rooms, daily updates, all on prepping, survival, and patriotism. Visit PrepperBroadcasting.com for your dose of self-reliance and independence. We've already spent a lot of resources on the bounty, TJ. I'm going myself. With the invasion force? Yes, sir. He wants you to get the Webb family, too. Yes. Security will be tight there. Sounds like a job for Yuri. I was going to... You'll take Serge and a team. Yuri will take Nate and Angelo. We're going to the mercenary base to get her. I need Yuri. You're saying you're not capable without him? No, Chuck. It would just make my life much easier. Embrace the pain, son. Yuri needs to be on the web roundup. You need to bring home the bounty. That's how it's going to be. Yes, sir. Get your shit together. Yes, sir. What did he say? Am I going with you to get Erika? No. You're with Nate and Anthony to round up the webs. What? That's bullshit. Who's going to guard you? Sergey. Always my brother. Why doesn't Sergey go round up the webs? Because you're an animal, Yuri. It doesn't matter if the webs come in alive, but Erica's family must stay alive. You're not wrong. So, I can kill them? If an accident happens, it won't hurt anyone's feelings. Plus, Grayson's wife, Kiara, would be a fine woman to get a hold of. I'll definitely take a turn with that. Really? Go get ready to move. We're leaving in the morning. I'll be ready. What's for dinner? Pasta. What are you doing here? Helping Miss Jenny. She's doing an excellent job. Thank you, ma'am. Hello, TJ. Did you clean the cell today? Yes, TJ. Mr. Lonzo already brought a woman over. Good. Why do you involve her with your business, TJ? Teresa, you know I love you, but don't get involved. You're too attached to that girl already. You know her role here. Are you going to let her go one day? Where would she go? She's probably the luckiest girl in the world. No man would touch her unless she allows it. As long as she does her job, she will never want. You promise me? Even after I'm gone? Don't talk that way. What did the doctor say? It is what it is, TJ. No one gets to live forever. You're leaving in the morning? Chuck told you? You're going after her again, aren't you? Another topic that is none of your damn business. Go help Jeannie and go. I'm sorry, TJ. Let me stay and eat with you. I don't want you to be alone the night before you have to leave. I have plenty of females in this house. I'll see you when I get back. Yes, TJ. Be careful. I'll be fine. Master Sergeant Bennett of the Mercenary Army, requesting permission to board. Granted. (laughs) 
Good evening, Star. What are you doing here? Where is she, Star? Who? Don't play me, Star. You know exactly who I'm talking about. Master Sergeant Bennett, I have no idea what you're talking about. We need to go someplace to talk. Now. Bennett, I can assure you... Now, Star. Come with me. We can talk in here. Go ahead. I'll be there in a minute. Don't lock anything down until I finish with Star. But I want this boat searched from top to bottom. Tell Sergeant Jensen to circle around a few times. Yes, sir. Where the fuck is she, Star? Are you talking about my mom, sir? Star, we've spent too many days together. I know when you're lying. About what? Tell me where she is. I know she and your father left the region with you. If that were the case, I would tell you. I have no reason to lie to you. I love you like an uncle. Damn it, Star. Don't pull that sentimental shit with me. I know when you're full of crap. Ow! Where is she, Star? I don't know. Don't freaking touch me. You're as stubborn as your mother. Fine, Star. We'll do it your way. Go tell the captain to lock the boat down. I want everyone traveling under the band's cross-regional passes assembled immediately. Sir, I found a passenger who saw a man and a woman leave on a small boat earlier with another man. He said they left a couple hours before we got here. Good job, Corporal. Give me one more minute. I'll meet you back at the boat. Yes, sir. Smart, Star. What are you talking about now, Master Sergeant? You got her off the boat already, didn't you? You got it all figured out. How did you ever get so smart, Master Sergeant? Star, our friendship will only let you get away with so much. I could pull all of your cross-region passes and send you back home now. You wouldn't. I could rather quickly. Please don't, Master Sergeant. Did she come with you? Don't find them, and the Federal Forces do. It will be a prison camp for sure if they aren't executed instead. You know, I only have their best interests at heart. I need to take them back to the Northern Region. Then why didn't you tell her my grandma and all our friends are in danger? Then she did come with you? Yes. Who did they leave with, Star? I won't tell you who she's with, Master Sergeant, but I'll let you know where they're headed. Where? Shreveport in Louisiana. Really? That better be true, or you will never leave the North Region again. A change of boats is brilliant. If anyone saw us now, they'd have the wrong boat description, and she's a much faster vessel. Where are we headed, Melvin? Lufkinport in Texas. Jesus come, inhabit the praise of the sinner and saint. Jesus come, and Jesus move. Here and now, we call on you, Lord, come and meet us today. Here and now, have your way. Okay, guys, this is how we are going to do this. Do what? See those lights way out on the horizon, on the left? Yeah. That's the line of battleships patrolling the entrance to the Mississippi Sea. So how are we going to do this?
These suits will protect you from the water. Under the boat, in the center, is an area that pops up. There's a shelf for you to conceal yourself in there. Are you serious? It works. Now then, you do know how Erica survived the quake, right? It's the only way. Give me the suit. Are you sure you're going to be okay with this, baby? Honestly, I don't know. Another rubber suit in the water. But we have to get by those ships. Well, don't worry. I'll be right there with you. Once you put your helmets on, I'll open your air supply. You'll have an hour's worth, but we should arrive within 30 minutes. Got it. I'll bang on the boat three times when it's all clear. Nicely done, guys. We even got boarded by the Mercs. That doesn't usually happen. Bennett must be looking for us. It's open. Good evening, ma'am. At ease, Major. What's wrong, ma'am? There's been no word from General McClintock. What? Two days ago, I told him we could not produce evidence that Erica was here. I was supposed to check in with him tonight, but the operator could not connect us, and she wouldn't say why. Something's wrong, Major. Shit, their trackers are still here. Isn't that good enough? No. Henderson wanted Erica's monthly tele-interview. But she's gone. Crap! Do you think the feds will come for the north? That's what I'm afraid of. We can strengthen the border forces. I'll lead the forces, Major. I want you to get Erica's family out of here. Ma'am, I can... You know we can't win this battle, Major. However, we can win the war. We're going to split our forces. I'll take half to the border, and the other half will evacuate to the Badlands. Emma... The time for that is long come and gone, Major. If I'm right, we're going to battle. I'm in command here, and time is of the essence. Yes, ma'am. I'll organize the evacuation. Kick some ass for me. The tide comes in, pulls some sand back into the ocean. The land is lost, another fight it cannot win. The cycle. Do 
you like morale patches, morale patches that are prepper related, things like, hey, can I drink that fuel? Two is one, one is none, three is a guarantee, or been prepping since Y2K? Well, if so, go to patchofthemonth.co and subscribe for 10 bucks a month or $100 a year. your boat today, Melvin. Who they are doesn't matter. We need hair dye and transport to the Southern Territory. Headed straight to the man, are we? You know my house is always at your disposal, Melvin. Derek came through here just yesterday, making sure your route was clear. Yes, sir, you two must be darn important. Jessica, don't pay them any mind. Which bathroom? The big one, upstairs. Cherry wood. Boy, they don't make them like this anymore, do they? It's nice. Yeah, Jessica's great. A little nosy, but very trustworthy. What color do you want? I'll take red. Might as well have some fun with it. I guess I'll take blonde. Kind of mysterious, shaded with someone I'm not really into. Do you need to fix it? Talking bullshit. Hey, Melvin said we were going south. I thought we were going straight into Dallas. I think it's the safest way, Vince. Remember Melvin said that Southern Texas is still free territory. They provide oil, and the federal government leaves them alone. <laughs> Maybe we should find a place to live there. After all this is said and done, we may very well have to. There's no way the governing board will let us off twice. Now we knew that before we left. We couldn't sit there and do nothing. Would we have been able to live with the fact that we knew what was coming and we could have saved our loved ones and we did it? Well, you know I couldn't have, Erica. That's why we're here. But who knows what will happen after this? Whoever does. Live together, die together. Right, baby? Hey, I like the red. The blonde is... is... weird. <laughs> Couldn't agree more. You two all set? We're decent. Much better, but I would still pull these hoods down tight. Here, Vince, new hat. Dallas Cowboys hat? Are you serious? Get over it, man. You can't blend in wearing a Vikings hat around here. The coastal towns of the southern region are being put into lockdown. They're looking for someone with your description. We gotta move fast. Well, at least it's not a Packers hat. <laughs> Blue looks good on you. Not as good as purple and yellow. Not blue. You coming? Yeah, I'm coming. Nothing yet? No, sir. None of the units turned up anything. Corporal, they had to have landed on this coastline. What did our ship report? Two shipping container ships came through. One personal yacht and a small fishing boat. The fishing boat? How many people were on it? Just one, sir. They had a boarding team clear the ship, sir. It had to be that boat. Where did they make landfall, Corporal? Looks like Lufkinport, Texas, sir. We need to catch them before the feds do, but we must keep this quiet, Corporal. After we sweep the town, we'll make believe the sweep turned out our couple, whether we do or not, so the coastline relaxes. Sergeant Jensen will go toward Pine Bluff, Arkansas, and intercept Sean and Star. Make sure he stays out of sight. Have him follow her, just in case Vince and Erica attempt to contact with her again. We'll be departing tomorrow morning at 0800 hours. Tell Corporal Shaver. Yes, sir.
put me through to Major Virgis. Yes, sir. How goes the hunt, Bennett? I'm afraid she's already gotten beyond my reach, but I'm still hoping to bring them home without incident. I know as much as you how essential Erica is, but we needed to have Erica on her monthly telemeeting days ago. They're under a direct violation now. Get them home. Yes, sir. I received news about her mother. She's not in Dallas. What? Tweed had her refugee work pass suspended and took her back to Vegas. Who else would know that? Anyone who was searching for and could access the federal database. Can you send me a trustworthy canine unit and Corporal McClintock? I'll send them your way. Where are you heading next? If I don't have them in the morning, I'm headed to Old Austin. Send them there. Will do. And Patrick? What's that, Cole? Take care, buddy. Old Austin can be a very dicey place for mercs. Will do. He said, let me tell you everything I've seen. The friends I've made, and then you tell me how you've been. Look a little closer, it's been quite some time. But you gotta let me know if I'm out of line. But there's some words that I just wanna say. Sir, why didn't you tell him about the Fed, sir? The airways aren't secure. I couldn't. We must keep the status quo or it jeopardizes everything. Do you think if he catches her, we could stop the invasion? No. We have the first groups evacuating now, sir. Have some stay posted up in Montana. What are you up to, sir? If the Feds do come, we're going to hit the refugee camp in Bozeman. A recruiting mission, sir? You got it. Damn, that smells good. We have to keep moving. They're increasing the guards, Melvin. They're going to lock it down. I noticed, too. This way. One of many rat holes, as we call them, around the city will be safe here. It's a woman. Shh. Papers, ma'am. I left them at home. Then you must come with me for ID verification, ma'am. I'm not going anywhere with you. I am a landowner, and I will not tolerate this kind of treatment. Don't have your papers. You must come with us. Come on, ma'am. Hands off my weapon, ma'am. Stupid refugee bitch. Thanks, man. No problem. Oh, how it goes in this Stubborn town No one seemed to know How to get around One sail We say what we are And we do what we teach We should be safe now Come on 
I am so sorry. Come on, baby. She was holding something under her jacket. Just leave it be. Say something. Anything. Oh, man. Probably an unlicensed baby, Vince. That's why she put up such a fight. Hey, there's nothing we could have done. If we draw attention to ourselves, we aren't going to make it very far. I know. I hate that this had to happen on our account. Think of it this way. If Brad's right, these people are going to die anyways. That does not make me feel any better. Oh my god, Vince, should we have told Jessica? We'll tell them as soon as we find out who oversees the militia. And we'll let them spread the word in their network. Change your plans. The city is locked down tight. You're going out with these bodies. What? Oh, man, come on. I'm sorry. It's the only way to get past the dogs. Erica, this is nuts. We should put on the cloaks. Safe from the dogs and thermal detection. We're good to go. What do you have there? They'll hide us from the thermal sensors. Very slick. They're heavy. Man, this is way worse than the garbage truck. What choice do we have? Good evening, Horace. You're full today. The lockdown must have shaken out the riffraff. <laughs> yes, sir. A full load. <laughs> it's clear, sir. Get them out of here. <laughs> yes, sir. She's running up, out of the car, down on the table, knowing there's no way that she'll be able to win this one. But she's somebody else in the making first. She's just got to stop. She's wondering if it's gonna finish this forever Wondering if it's gonna finish this whenever She leaves her safe space She leaves her safe space Wondering if it is forever Or is there some place that will make her feel better We made it! That was disgusting! <sighs> oh my god! Is that you? You're Eric Moore. And that must be your husband, Vince! Why didn't you tell me I was carrying Eric Moore, Melvin? Because, Horace, everyone thinks they're still in the northern region, so this has to be our secret, okay? Yeah, yeah, Melvin. I won't tell anyone. I never tell anyone. That's good, Horace, because if you tell just one person, I'll come back here and rip each of your toenails off one by one, okay? Yes, sir, Melvin. 
You know I won't. The truck's over there, sir. Thanks. Let's go. Hey everyone, this is Phil Rabley from the Matter Facts Podcast, voicing the role of Cole Verges. If prepping guns and politics sounds like your cup of tea, come check out the Matter Facts Podcast every Friday on iTunes, Stitcher, and Spotify with my co-host Andrew Bobo. How have you guys been holding up? Feels like the calm before the storm, sir. You got that right. I need you and Dexter to head south. You'll meet Master Sergeant Bennett in Austin. Sir, you know they're not friendly mercs down there. Wear your civilian attire, but we need a specialized canine unit there. Yes, sir. We'll head out in the morning. Watch yourself, Johnny. You get the mission accomplished and get back to Reno. Is everything okay, sir? Just promise me you'll keep your head up. I will, sir. Until we meet again, son. Until then, sir. Sir, the feds have attacked. Payne's forces are engaging them at the border, but there's a large force headed to the base, sir. Are all the forces headed west gone? Yes, sir. Miss Porter's gate is still open, but a large force of black shirts is headed to Grayson's. Grab our gear. We need to get her on and get that family off the farm. One? Because you should track them both? Oh, I get it. This is easy, Mom. Thank you so much, ma'am. Well, there's nothing wrong with an intelligent boy learning to do arithmetic. Are those jars done? Yes, ma'am. I was just about to take them out. What is it, Jack? Did you hear that? Jack, leave it. Come. Nobody move. Oh, please don't hurt us. Get everyone in this room, now. Get on the ground. Hey, Jay, you should buy hair soon. You better keep that dog under control. Jack, come here. Oh. Kill it. You shot them, Daniel. No, no, come. We need to go. Get some clothes. I'll get us food. Oh, okay, Daniel. Hurry, Grandma. More are coming. Earl, it's time. I know. I'm almost done packing. We have to be gone before the feds get here. Let's go! Stay here. They're already here. They killed them all. Kay! Wait, stop the car. Someone's over there. Megan! You stay here. Megan! Megan! Megan? They... they killed him. Come with me, Megan. They just shot them all. We have to find Kay. Come with me right now. Stay here. I should. You're not trained to enter that building. I am. Stay here.
They're not in here. Oh no. Megan should not see this. And Jack. Who are they? Black shirts. This is not good. Look at that. Good boy. What? B6. Why would Daniel write that? What does it mean? The family has an emergency map. Look here. They put their own coordinates on their map, so only they know what it means. Why didn't I get one? We didn't think you would need one. There. They're headed out to the pond. Let's go. Their tracker signals are coming from here. That's because their trackers are here. Did you search the entire base? Yeah, DJ. They're not here. Damn it. Let's get to the farm and see what kind of pawn we've collected. Those bodies are my black shirt, Sergey. Looks like it. Get me to the house now. DJ, let me. No one is here, Sergey. How the hell did one boy and an old woman pull this off? We haven't found Virgis around. Get me until now. Virgis was spotted headed west. Mr. Babyface turned tail and ran. We've also had a report of Master Sergeant Bennett searching the ghost line. She ran from him too. But the boy was here. Look at the angle of the bullet holes. He's the one who killed my men. A boy, Sergey, a boy. He's been training since he was born. So have my fighters. Where's her eldest son? The report was he's headed to Texas. She must be down there. It's the only place that's safe for her now. We need to report to Henderson. Hi, this is Sarah F. Hathaway, the creator of the Changing Earth series and the voice of Erica Moore. Visit ChangingEarthSeries.com to explore the novels behind the drama and the survival knowledge behind the stories. Join the Changing Earth membership program and get one week early access to the show. We appreciate you helping the Changing Earth world go round. Visit us at www.ChangingEarthSeries.com. That's www.ChangingEarthSeries.com. must be the luckiest sons of bitches alive. We're finally here. Where? Welcome to New Austin, home of the free. Well, looks like it's time for one of those inspirational speeches, babe. It's been a long road, 
for all of us. America is in shambles, broken by systems put in place to save her destruction. We've been tested, and each of us has found a unique way to survive. But survival is not enough anymore. We're fighting for the future of this great nation. It was once a place where all people were created equal, regardless of land ownership status. And so it shall be again! This way, guys. I couldn't have said it better myself. I think I'm gonna like you. Thanks. What is this place? This used to be St. Edward's College, or St. Ed's as we alumni call it. We fought bitterly for this piece of land between the highways so we could access the Colorado River. The city was in big trouble after the quake. The dams that controlled the Colorado River broke, the sky rises toppled over. After the fighting, Austin was annihilated. The buildings at this college fared well, and the governor liked the campus. Hello, Janelle. Hello, sir. How was your trip? It was more exciting than I would have liked, but we made it. Let me introduce Erica and Vince Moore. This is Janelle Ackerson, my most trusted confidant. She'll take care of you. It's my absolute pleasure to meet you. Thank you. It's very nice to meet you. We have a meeting with Governor Dixon at 1700 hours. Ensure their provision. Yes, sir. I have followed your story closely. You've given the people some hope and spirit, and it's working. Another constitutionalist was elected to the federal governing board. The tides are turning. Maybe we'll be able to rejoin the country again soon. How do you mean? We would have no problems rejoining the country if they reinstated the Constitution. Anyway, I thought we were the government's best kept secret. You are, but I've been doing a lot of research on this new system they created. And I've met a few friends in high places. Impressive. I assumed you would be a babbling, freedom-fighting figurehead like many others who have come and gone. I'm impressed with this place. There are a lot more considerations nowadays. We had to come together if we wanted any life like we used to have. Luxury has to be maintained with a solid base of supplies. Here's your room. Is this going to be okay? This is going to be perfect. The bathroom is right over here. It's a composting toilet, so don't worry about flushing. Okay. There's towels over here and clothes over there in the closet. Do you need anything else? No, I really appreciate what you already did for us. I'll have Badger bring some food from the kitchen. Sounds great. Thanks again, Janelle. We made it. Holy crap, we made it, Erica. That was insane, Vince. I can't believe we're doing this. But my mom. And Greg, Penny, Harold, all of them, Erica. They'll all die. And we may too if we don't move fast enough. Brad didn't know the exact timing of the next quake. What about all these people, Vince? Aren't we just doing the same thing if we don't tell them? We can't create panic when we don't even know when it'll hit. Exactly, Vince. That's why the officials won't say anything. That's why Bennett didn't want to tell me. Let's meet this governor first, and then we'll decide if we should tell him. There's fresh clothing, baby. Jeans and t-shirts. Hold on a minute. You must be Badger. Hello, sir. How are you tonight, young man? Good, sir. Hey, do you know what you call a lazy kangaroo? No, sir. A pouch potato. <laughs> That's funny, sir. Let me know if you need anything. It was nice to have met you, Badger. Daniel loves that joke. We'll see Danny again, babe. He's safer where he is. I know. 
What's under there? Looks like beef stew with a big old piece of bread. Oh man, this is so good. You can say that again. The governor is ready to see you now. Are you done eating? Yes, ma'am. We are. And let me tell you, that was good. Isn't it? Chuck and Darlene do their best to keep us well fed around here. I'd say they're doing a fine job. Let's go. We can't keep the governor waiting. Thanks for listening to the Changing Earth audio drama. This content is copywritten in 2023 by author Sarah F. Hathaway. Special thanks to featured musician Five Times August. Find his latest hits at fivetimesaugust.com. Get to know our amazing performers and listen to the soundtrack at changingearthseries.com. Special thanks to Zap Splat freesound.com, and freemusicarchives.com. Find all the music and sound attributes at author Sarah F. Hathaway.com backslash soundtrack. Stay tuned for more of the Changing Earth Adventure.